Now, Jimmy, I'm a big fan of Point Source, and by extension, I'm a big fan of Danley. Now, what they're really well known for is making big, uh, long throw sort of stadia uh, horns and stuff like that, just to throw a lot of Point Source to a lot of people. Well, they, are the, they are from the States. They are, they are. <laughs> they know being loud. This, but this doesn't look like Point Source. It looks like a column speaker, doesn't it? Really it really does, it really does, but it's not. Correct. Mm. This is what's uh, referred to as the SBH-10 or the skinny big horn. Mm -hmm. uh, there is an SBH-20 which looks exactly like one of these sawn in half. Um, with a nice finish, obviously. Now the idea of this is it's a it's a cabinet with uh, 100, about 120, yeah. 130 degree horizontal coverage and 10 degree vertical. Mm. And the way it works is that what comes out at the front is what that you what you'd get out of the front of a 25 foot long horn? Yeah. Now nobody really wants to mount a 25 foot long horn it's in the middle practical. of their church. Not everyone's got 25 feet. <laughs> but sometimes you want the result, and the result is that the pattern control and the phase coherence is exceptional, mm. like, and it is vicious. The pattern control is like a razor blade. It's amazing. Yeah, we actually uh, did some experiments in here where one of us would stand and listen, the other one would tilt it back, and mm. you basically just it disappears. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. Um, I wouldn't advise tilting it back on a regular basis. The uh, preliminary spec says it's about 100 pounds, which I think is about 45 Four, kilos. Yeah. I think the reality is it's significantly <laughs> heavier than that. But it's not the kind of thing you're going to lug around everywhere. No, no. It's the kind of thing you're going to install. So yeah. your install is going to be a, a bit of effort, but I, but I would say well worth the results. Mm, yeah. And the other thing I love about it is uh, all the processing that you don't need. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. You <laughs> need to use uh, an amplifier. An yeah. Uh, we used an 80 hertz roll off on this. We actually have it sitting on top of a TH mini sub, which mm -hmm. we listen to it just to you know, get the full frequency range. But mm. um, look, in its own right, it's, uh, it's plus or minus 3 dB down to mm. about 80 hertz. Yep. Um, on the spec, and I think that's pretty much what we heard. Yeah, and uh, as I said, exceptionally phase coherent, extremely good intelligibility, like all Danley products. Um, you're not going to get fatigued. Nice. It sounds lovely. It sounds yeah. really nice. Yeah. So if you like, had to put this in a highly reverberant space, which is one of the applications. So you know, traditional house of worship. Um, you basically point it, turn it up, and it's going to be non-fatiguing. It's going to be extremely intelligible, mm. and job is done. Yeah. Whereas we're seeing a lot of things that are. Pattern control by interference or mm. by DSP. Uh, this is pattern control by by pointing it where you want yeah, it. Point source. Love it. Love it. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video today, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share us with your friends.